What's up guys, it's Curti Fox, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build the Minecraft Walmart semi-trailer truck. So this is actually a brand new 2022 design. You may have remembered, if you have been seeing my videos for a while, I had this Walmart truck before, back in 2018, uh, maybe like three or four years ago. And that was actually one of my most popular tutorial videos ever. There's like people who know me as the Walmart truck guy. <laughs> so I definitely think it deserves a redesign and a revent because people love it so much. Walmart is actually the world's largest company by revenue at $570 billion and the largest private employer in the world with over 2.2 million employees. So definitely it's a very popular brand and company and even I think around the world, people know about the Walmart truck. It's kind of synonymous with America. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a look at this design. So uh, right over here in the front, it's pretty much the same thing as this one, but I did update design quite a lot, upgrading the standards of it. I also changed how like the sloping of this, so it's more um, fuller in design. There's actually a couple of different Walmart tractors that they use, but uh, I think this is like one of the more popular variants. It's made by a Freightliner, I believe. Got gray down under here. Compare that with the other one, not as much detail. Also, the wheels are bigger because it's a truck. And we also got like some detail. There's like an indent here in the back. Well, my original one, it was kind of like flat, you know. This one, it's old, but at least it's simple and easy to build. But this one is going to be a lot more accurate um, and it has a lot more detail. So there's a lot of things in here. I got a banner for the number on the side. You got the Walmart logo. I actually kept this design because I think uh, if you try to make it as accurate, you can't exactly do it because it'll mess up with the color. It'll look weird with oak. Oak's not a really good yellow. Uh, so I kept that to keep it simple and nice looking. And then down under here, we've got that trailer skirt. It goes in a little bit in the front. You got these, um, the trailer stands goes up like that landing gear i believe that's what it's called mud flaps here in the back and we got the uh, i'm not sure if it is the same thing like trains they have fra striping does this count yeah i think it's actually like the dot reflective uh striping and actually changed the color from a well i don't even have it wow <laughs> it's that old i don't have it um my amazon truck at least had it so we have it like this and i also added some banners to make the trim uh, you know, where like this metal frames are. And in the back, it looks like that. You know, Walmart logo and a lot of detail right there. I'll well, compare it to my original one. It's nice and simple, not as detailed. It also added like this little thing on the side. Well, you probably can't add it because it's uh, using the axe with a debug stick. Although I think in the next update, actually, they're gonna be releasing a debug stick in the inventory if you have cheat mode on. So you could be able to add that in the future. And also here in the cab, I changed this window so it comes out in the front. Before my original one, I had just glass panes all the way across. But I did keep the glass panes on the edges because if I used a regular glass block here, it's gonna connect with the nether brick fence. So I didn't want that, so I just kept it right there. Uh, but yeah, we can have a side-by-side -side comparison between the two. <laughs> Which do you prefer better, this one or this one? Let me know in the comments, because sometimes there's people that are like, oh, I like the old design better, but I'm looking at this, no, <laughs> there's no way. Maybe it's easier to build, but this one looks a lot better. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a great addition if you're making a Minecraft city, I would recommend this. Even if your city doesn't have a Walmart, uh, New York City, for example, doesn't have a Walmart, so I still see Walmart trucks on the highway, like, occasionally. So, I don't know why they're actually here in New York City, they're just passing through or something. Or maybe they're transporting cargo from a warehouse, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you guys want to support the channel, hit the like button down below and leave a comment. But yeah, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to grab some materials. We're going to take out polished deep slate, polished blackstone brick slab, Deep slate brick slab, black wall, stone button, polished black stone brick wall, nether brick slab, uh, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs. All right, so let's go on to this side. So first off in the middle, we're gonna add in hovering above the ground, two blocks wide of polished black stone brick slab. Then we're going to add in uh, deep slate brick slabs on the edges of it, like this. The middle, two blocks wide of polished deep slate. 
Then uh, smooth quartz stairs facing outwards on the sides. Smooth quartz stairs on top. And then in the back of this, a black wall and a polished black stone brick wall. Other side, same thing. All right, then in the middle here, I'm gonna add in another brick um, slab, make it two by two. Then we're gonna make a two by eight of nether brick slab. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then the back, we're gonna add black wall, skip block, black wall, polish black stone brick wall on the back wheel. And other side, we'll do the same thing. Stone buttons on the sides of all of our wheels. And then we're gonna add in um, upside down polished black stone brick stairs behind the second wheel. It's like a pair of wheels. And then we'll add in our deep slate brick slab. We're gonna make a two by five, I mean four, right over here. And we'll do that on both sides for this gray area. All right, next up, we're gonna add in um, smooth cord stairs facing the back here and then upside down right above the wheel. And other side, do the same thing. Then we're gonna add in a uh, smooth court stairs right on top of this, both sides. Then we're gonna add in a two by two of smooth quartz block right there. Smooth quartz block on the side of this. And then four blocks long smooth quartz. So one, two, three, four on the edges, both sides. Then the back will add in three blocks wide and we'll add one here, skip a block and add in two. Other side will do a repeat. All right, next on top, we're gonna add in um, a C shape of smooth quartz on top, making a hole in the back. Then the inside of this is actually going to be um, black concrete. So two blocks wide and then smooth quartz slap on the outside of that. All right, then the front of this, we'll add in smooth quartz stairs here. And then one's gonna be facing towards the inside part. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll end up with this hole. And in the hole, we're gonna fill that in with yellow concrete for the Walmart logo. And then we'll add in a row of smooth quartz slab. Then we're gonna add in smooth quartz block, two blocks wide right there. And then we're gonna add in iron and then we're gonna add an iron bar to the side of it, two blocks tall for the antenna. And then we'll add in a snow layer. Now the snow layer is going to be six layers tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll just do the same thing for the rest of them. After that, we'll go to the side, add in a blackstone button here, a lever next to that, another brick fence on top, dark oak sign to the side of this a wither skeleton skull. And then we'll add in the headlights, gonna be item frames with a gray, with a light gray bed and we want the light gray on the outside. And we'll do the same thing on the other side with the side view mirror or, yeah, the side view mirror and whatever this mirror is. Does that count as a side view mirror as well? If it's in the front and nose mirror and a black stone button right there. All right, next up, uh, we'll add in a black glass block here on the outside, two black concretes inside, two black glass blocks in the middle, and then black glass panes on the edges of that, and then a birth sign for the license plate. All right, then we'll add inside of this a jungle button, warp button underneath it. Other side, do the same thing. Then the inside of this is gonna be smooth quartz block. I'm gonna have that all the way across the inside of this. And then actually the back of this is gonna be smooth quartz stairs because we want a little indent here. And then we'll add in the inside of this two by two smooth quartz. And then we'll add in a nether brick fence. It's gonna be two blocks tall here. Then we're gonna add in a polished blackstone wall here, diorite wall next to that and then white glass panes fill in the rest of this hole. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here in the front of this wheel, open them up, and another pair of dark oak fence gates right here in the back. Open them up like that. 
All right, next we're going to make these banners. So go inside the loom, add in white banner, gray dye, put it on one side. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to have one side over here. We want the gray edge on this side while the other side, gray eye edge, or it's the outside. Just like that. All right, so now let's go work on the trailer. So first off, we'll go over here. Right above this wheel, we're going to have a hovering polish and a side slab. We're going to make that four blocks wide like that. On top, we're going to add in a two by four of smooth quartz block. And then we'll make a two by two smooth quartz on this side. And then the other side, we'll make L-shaped smooth quartz. And it's going to be a hole there. And then we'll go down here. We'll add in polished black silver brick stairs. We're going to make it upside down, back to back. Just like that. And then we'll add in a 2x3 of polished black stone brick slabs. Like so. And then we'll go down here, add in a dark oak sign. Like that, both sides. And then we'll add in um, warp buns. going to be two blocks wide here. A dark oak fence gate. And we want to open that up right there. Nether brick fence right underneath it. And then above, we'll add in a crimson button and then a birch button there. Warp sign right there. And then a smooth quartz slab. It'll be right there with a yellow concrete on the inside of that. Then we're going to add... And then we'll go down here and we're going to add in a dark oak fence gate, two blocks wide, and a site wall on the outside of that. And then underneath it's going to be a spruce fence gate opened up towards the back. Side, same thing. And then dark oak trap doors, two blocks wide, right down there. All right, next up we'll add in a smooth quartz stairs. It's going to be upside down here. It's going to be two of them facing towards each other. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab, two blocks wide underneath it. And then we're going to make this uh, smooth quartz stairs 10 blocks long towards the back. Then on the outside of this, we'll add in smooth quartz slab like that, sticking out. And we're going to extend that towards the back as well. All right, next up, we'll add in this uh, mangrove slab. Could add it one here. Then skip to add one, skip to add one. And then uh, I think we'll add another block as well. Uh, polish and a side slab here, and then smooth stone block, smooth stone slab, I mean, right there. Then polish and a side slab. And we're just gonna copy what we did to the other side, just making this all the same pattern. All right, so next up, we're going to um, do this pattern like to, to the end of that, at least. Let me see, let me do. Two more times like that. And then it ends in smooth stone slab like that. All right, and then the middle part would add in two by, or two blocks wide dark oak uh, fence gate. Then we'll add in a mangrove slab, polish andesite, smooth stone, mangrove again, polish andesite, smooth stone, then mangrove, and then it's going to end in a polish andesite slab. All right, then there's going to be a polish andesite stairs upside down like that. And then it's gonna be a mangrove fence gate right there on the edge, open that up. All right, then we're gonna copy the same pattern over here, including that fence gate, and we're gonna build it on the other side. Just like that, making these stairs face each other. And then down below, we're going to add in um, mangrove trapdoor as well as iron trapdoor. I'm going to make an alternating pattern here. All right, then we'll go down here and we're going to add in two by three of polished blackstone brick blocks and then two upside down polished blackstone brick stairs and then two by two polished blackstone brick slabs. Down here, we're gonna add in a black wool, skip block black wool, upside down polished black stone brick stairs, and then polished black stone brick wall in the back, stone buns on the sides of that. 
and we'll build the same wheel design onto the other side right here stone bun sets the wheels and then we'll add in a pair of dark oak fence gates like that and then polish black stone brick slabs between it and then two more polished blocks and brick slabs and then two dark oak fence gates open them up and then we'll add in a gray uh, banner right behind the wheels for the mud flaps all right next up in the back we'll add in two smooth quartz blocks um warp button oak sign on top polished blocks and slab smooth quartz slab then smooth quartz stairs two blocks wide yellow concrete Upside down, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, and another one diagonally in, and then a uh, warped slab like that. Then we're going to add the inside of this um, light blue concrete like that. And the edge is going to be a polish in a site block. So one, two, three, four blocks tall, both sides. And then we'll add in a row of light gray carpet across like that. All right, so next up, we'll add in a smooth quartz block, and we're going to go line up where the middle of this wheel is and make it four blocks tall. Then we'll go line up right above this landing gear, four blocks tall, smooth quartz. And then we're going to actually make this logo. So to make the logo, uh, we'll add in a plus sign right over here on the right. And then next to that's going to be skip a block, uh, light blue concrete, make an L like that, and then an upside down L looks like, and then a right side up L, and then two on the diagonal. That's pretty much the Walmart logo, and we're going to replace everything here on the side, fill in all the gaps uh, with smooth quartz block. So let's do that right now. So it looks like that. And we're actually going to copy the same pattern design, just, you know, build it the other direction right over here. So I'll add in the indicators where it starts and begins. So it looks like this, and then I'll fill in the rest of this with smooth quartz block like that, as well as the roof, whatever is there, fill that in. And then on top, we'll add in our uh, light gray uh, carpets all the way across. So it looks like that. All right, now on the edge, skip a block, add in a warp button there. Other side, we'll do the same thing, just like that. All right, so now we're gonna make these two types of banners. So it's really simple, go inside the loom, add in a white banner with light gray dye, just put it on one column of it on the edge. And what we wanna do is we want the light gray edge on the outside of this, so it looks like this. And another one right here facing towards the outside. So it looks like it's thinner than it actually is. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well. Just like so. And then we need to make this type of banner. So to make that, go inside the again, white banner, uh, light blue dye, and we want to have this brick pattern. Put it back inside, add in white uh, dye, and we're gonna wanna make a border around it like this. Put it back inside. And then we want to fill in one side of it, like one half. So let's do that. Put it back inside. And then we we'll want a column going across the middle. And we're left with this pattern. And we're going to do the same thing, uh, just in the other direction. So we have two of them. So this one's going to be like that. While the other side will be facing this way, just like so. And then we're going to add in a dark oak sign to the side of this. Probably I didn't forget to do it on that side. All right, so yeah, I think that's actually pretty much it on how to make the Walmart semi-trailer truck in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe to be notified of future tutorials like this, and uh, let me know down in the comments if you actually finish this. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.